Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Iron Panther Presents. Uh, today, Stacey, Chris, and I shall be discussing Your Honor, uh, episode three, led by the man himself, Brian Cranston, a.k.a. Heisenberg, a.k.a. Michael, um, the one who knocks. And he's knocking on doors. He's knocking on doors in, in the projects so he can save the, the projects. One sad home at a time. Um, and now he's trying to save his son, who's definitely trying to get himself arrested. Like, Adam's guilt is eating the shit out of him, so he decides to investigate his own fucking murder. <laughs> he <laughs> let, me, let me take pictures of everything. I need to solve this case myself. No, oh, let me, oh, see this big bruise here? Let me, let me document. Here. Like, if he doesn't go to jail for the rest of his life for killing this kid, he should join CSI. Like, he definitely has a career in criminal investigative services. Like, can you imagine Dexter? So, Dex, if Dexter did this, if Dexter did this, like, like hey, I, you know, like, there, there will be no Dexter. There will be like, it'll, it'll last one episode. What's up, what's up Stacey? When is he going to take pictures as he's dem- dismembering each body? Like yeah. He has a video camera for that shit. He, as a serial killer, I mean, to, to, uh, to your points, I mean, as a true serial killer, he did keep the slides. So he did, in fact, document all his damn murders, which is why he, had, which is why he got caught by his sister slash real life wife um, when, in, in the last season. Uh, that got weird. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I forgot that in real life. Yeah, wow. Ew. He kept it in yeah. the family. And then that's just too much. Don't need but, that image. Don't, don't don't need that that Boardwalk Empire slash Game of Thrones image. Anyway, <laughs> we'll get back to that when the when the revival comes of the new season. Um oh, God. Right. I forgot about that too. Damn. Yeah, man. Because anyway, there's no new ideas. Anyway, Michael is knee deep into making up alibis for his son. He makes up a whole story. To get the to delete the video footage of his son at the gas station. Brian Cranston is an award-winning actor because he's acting like a man who's acting like a man whose wife cheated on him. Yeah. I was like, he's really good at it too. I know. I was like, did did, did his yeah. wife cheat? Like, is this is this the truth? I know, right? I, that's the thing. Like, we know what happened, and, and we know that he's faking it, but he plays it so good. I'm like. Is he really talking to the gas attendant to 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 see if he che- I'm like, what is it? I was like, oh yeah, that's right. This ain't real. This ain't- <laughs> but no, 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 no. You we don't know why his wife was in the projects that day. We do not okay. know, actually. We just know she got yeah, it's probably it probably I think I think it is that she did maybe cheat, maybe like it'll be interesting if it comes out that she had an affair with a desire member from the gang, like. What if that comes out like she was sleeping with Lil Mo? Bruh. That Bruh. would be that would be a story. I, I that would, would, I would, be, so that would definitely be a combo. Give Brian Cranston <laughs> a, an award for this. If it turns out his wife was sleeping with the desire leader and it's all this was internal. Like <laughs> it, <laughs> that's why they were chasing Ando. And that's who's in a black car. The black car is her lover, but like. Get it's like get away from <laughs> that's who sues it in the car. I that submit black... to you that car does not exist. What are you talking about? Think about it. How was the huh? fucking car there in the middle of Adam's self investigation? Just happened to be following him. And li- it's it. He lives around the corner. He... Whoever drives the car lives around the corner. Every I mean... time you see Adam, he drive up. Yeah. Bet and, and, and then he might be a drug runner too, so he's probably investigating everything like Marlo, Marlo, and 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 ba- uh, Barksdale did in the wire, and whatnot. Got to gotta check on the crew, got to make sure everything's good. Bet it's all in his head. He's already I would hit in the head. I don't know why. I yeah. promise you, when it's all said and done, that car doesn't exist. He's it's haunting him for some reason, but that's not real. I don't, I don't, I don't want that. I don't, again, I'm not denying it. See, once again. But let me tell you why. Because I would need more than just a car for me to really buy the fact that you are seeing things. So that's why I don't, you know what I mean? Like the that's all, that's your problem. Is oh, not you, but I'm saying that's Adam's problem in the sense of like a car is following you, not a cop car, but a random black vehicle. 
it's, like, somehow, it's somehow going to connect to something. But if that SUV is shown again and it does not interact with anything else, it's, there's no car behind it. There's no, it's, it's not, it doesn't stop for somebody else. If all you see is that, is that SUV and him, I promise you there's no one in it and it's all in his head. Why? What is Lil Mo driving? What's Lil Mo driving? What was he in? Yeah, damn it. Little Lil Mo, Lil Mo, the guy. No, no, they have a shoulders off. right. They have a shoulders right. They have a shoulders right. If it he was rolling it. like, again, if he was rolling like that and following this kid, he would have got out and fucked with him. It doesn't make sense that the truck is just solely following him and he didn't see it as he's making pictures of the fucking crime. How is the crime scene even open? Like, there's no tape. There's no nothing. Like, shouldn't they have... The street. People huh? gotta travel. There's... Like say it, yeah, I was gonna say that. I was like, dude, you see, even on ninety five here, man. Like, yeah, someone gets murdered, like on two ten or whatnot. Someone like a hit and run, like a yesterday. fatality or whatnot. They, 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 like, they might be there for a couple hours, but then by the the, the following morning, it's gone. It's gone. It's, it, it, it is. It is. It is. Mm-hmm. You never. You haven't seen them investigate anything. Like they don't even know where the kid was killed or something. It, it just seems very quick. Like it's all. all he has plenty of time. To walk around the projects as a bright ass white kid by himself, nobody, nobody's out there but the random SUV. I'm telling you, it's in his head. But we'll, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Um, so uh, Mike's <laughs> friend Charlie, after not asking any questions of why his judge friend says get rid of the car, Mexican guy on boots. Now all of a sudden he's like, <laughs> oh shit, man, you got me in committing crimes. Well. It was a crime well, when you no, called the cop. I, think he probably knew. I, I don't. All right. So I think that he knew that he was into something. Didn't know that he was into murder, and then definitely didn't know it had anything to do with the back, like Baxter's kid, like. And that's why he was scared. He was like, dude, you going to kill me? Like, just, like you know what I mean? No, I he think said, he felt like he was like up to something like crazy, but but maybe like a theft or something like that. Nothing like this. If one you ask nothing that would mess up. With me. One, you ask questions. Best, unless you are a criminal. Your best friend. If your best friend is like David, man, don't ask no question. But I need you to do me a favor. And by the way, like I know you since we were four. No. No, absolutely no, not. <laughs> like Chris, we've known each other for I think almost ten years. To be honest, if you came to me, he didn't even guess what he did. Brian, uh, Michael didn't even say that. He didn't say ask no questions. He just said, "Hey, man, can I meet you at a cafe?" Yeah, man, I need yeah. you to get rid of this car. Bye. He don't ask any questions. He did say that. I thought he did, because otherwise I would ask questions. He did not. He I said, like "I he need to say that." Maybe you make me do. It. I don't know. Maybe there's a history yeah, in, in the I sense of like maybe it. even how he became a judge yeah. was the whole like don't ask no question. Like like maybe he's used to bending the rules to at least help. You know, maybe my Michael to even become a judge. If maybe. your friend comes to you and say, "Hey, I need you to get rid of this body." You ain't gonna be asking yeah. the person any anything. I need you to get rid of this sweater. You ain't gonna yeah. ask why, why you can't do it yourself. Why you can't do it yourself? I mean, that's this the first question. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Even if he said it or he didn't say it, the fact that Charlie did some clandestine shit, like I'm gonna call a cop who's calling a thug, who's gonna call another thug to come get this car. He knew some shit was going on. Like to your point, Chris, what he should have said was. I didn't, you didn't tell me the Baxters were involved. Like, I don't mind sending a black man to jail for the rest of his life, but I'm not trying to get killed over it with the Baxters. Like that's, then that would, that's a different statement. What he said was, this is a felony. I didn't know I was involved in a crime. Yes, you I did. don't know he said that part. He didn't say like- It's not a crime? He specifically said, and this, I, I remember that. Cause I thought like, this is stupid that he was saying, he was like, this is a felony. Like. Bitch, you were committing a crime felony. and a felony the first episode, the second episode. Did, did he say felony? I, I, I thought he was kind of, see, for one, if the fact that he knew had connections like that, which means this ain't the first time he did something crooked, for one. Clearly, that's not for the first one. time he did something crooked. For one. And, 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 and for one, and, and I also think it was like one of those things where that judge, like Michael, did something for him. Yeah, like, he, as said a that. Judge, he said that. He said that. Kind of pain. Life what I'm saying is like, some, yeah, did something that was, that was probably shady as hell. That is like, okay, now I got your back. But then now he's finding out, oh, wait, oh, that kid. Oh, that kid that was, oh, you son of a bitch. Like, (laughs) he he didn't say that. But I mean, to your point, that's what he should have said. 
I'm down for committing crimes. Again, as a black man who's in black New Orleans, speaking to the other black men about you, you shouldn't shop where, where you can't work, which I do, I do think is true. I think that's a very, you know, like true statement. And I, and I, and, but the irony of that, that he is to one sending one of the, their own to jail for a white man that just walked through the door and he's like, look, Mr. Look, black folks, I got this white man on my side too. Like, it's not just me. Like he gives me credibility. Like, look, again, if you want to know how this show is going to turn out, watch the have and have nots seasons one through three. And you will see this very damn storyline done a lot worse. Like this is, these are award-winning actors doing the same damn storyline. But somehow I still want to watch this one though. They did. Then they hit the car. Oh, wow. I told you. Whoever wrote this shit watched Tyler Perry and was like, I can do better. I can do better as long as I get the right actors. And I was like, yes, you can. And this shit better not be longer than a season. Because this is dumb. This this is the silliest storyline that it should not take that much. Now, now you don't like, you don't like the show so far. No, no, I'm telling like it's a when okay, it's not the show, it's Adam. Like his constant guilt of I need to go to jail. I'm screaming at my daddy. I'm I'm, I'm walking to jail so I can feel what it's like to be the black kid in there who's taking the rap for me. I'm gonna go tell the 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 teacher who's molesting me that I committed a crime. Stop, stop. Ladies stop. and gentlemen, stop. Franny. Is a, is a predator, all right? When Michael says, thank you for being there for my son when his mother died, he, I'm glad you helped him through it. That makes Franny a predator. Like he was emotionally uh, uh, vulnerable and she took the penis. Like that's what happened. I say it again, she took that penis. What are your thoughts, uh, Chris? Um, Stacy, am I going too far? Let's start with Stacy. Stacy, am I going too far? I don't even know how old Adam is. It's like, and I don't know how old the teacher is. And we didn't see how the relationship developed. So I don't know if she's rapey or not. So I'm just gonna fall back until more evidence presents itself. I submit to you. Chris, what are your thoughts? I'm sorry. What do you think? On, on, what, on what part? Like Granny you know, and Adam. Do you believe their relationship is, is inappropriate? I mean, not not for him. I don't know. I mean, like it's it's different. I mean, I know yes, it's a double standard, but it's a double standard for a reason. Um, as far as the emotional angle and whatnot, like seriously, like for for dudes, they handle young, like especially high school students, high school males, they handle stuff like this way better. He always than, does this. Than, yeah. I mean, you asked me. I thought we were going. No, no, I'm good. Talk about Chris, Chris, I got you, bro. I was going to talk about the show. Hey, hey. Like, I don't know. I, just, I don't see a problem with it. He, he's, he's, he's clearly dealing with a lot. You know, he's doing all the stuff with the photography. He lost his mother and whatnot. Um, you know, that's probably what he needs. Like, go. I say, go ahead, bro. I mean, you know, what I mean, the problem is he now involves his girl into it. You know, what I mean, um, my, my, my issue is. Well, I guess it's kind of an issue, sort of. I look at his, I understand his guilt in the sense that it's like, okay, he initially did not want to go to the cops, right? So that made sense in the sense like he didn't want to be seen guilty. But then he saw what happened to this kid that was about the same age as him going to prison. And like you guys were saying, like he's de dealing with all this guilt. And he just can't imagine, like, he's like, you know, this should have been me. Like, I don't deserve this. You know what I mean? So I can see why he's kind of more of like, like, I could understand him try, him telling Franny this, even though Franny was like, I, don't, I should not be hearing this or whatever. Yo, if I was Franny, I would have been like, I would have done like, I would have Jeffreyed myself out of the Fresh Prince's house and been like, ah, out there just so I don't have to hear that shit. Like, no, no, la, 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 la. Now Adam has now involved and probably going to have maybe five people killed because of him. You know, not only the kid that he actually killed, but he's now going to get coffee ass killed, coffee going to kill, be killed because of his ass. His pops going to get killed. Damn, that's that, that's father of the year right there, right? So his pops, now the, Charlie, who's running for mayor, his ass going to get killed, you know? <laughs> and then, and now his girl, like, dude, stop involving so many people. Just, yes. if you were that guilty, like you said, 
turn your ass in. Yes. Like, turn your ass in. Have that convo with Carlo, with, with the brother. You know, you show up at itself. That's the case. You know what I mean? Like, nah, man. Like, don't, like, don't get everybody know? else involved. Oh, uh, hey, you know, so again, I, I just before we move on, my, my point of view is that, as you said, Chris, it's a double standard. If this would have been a, a, a teenage girl, 18 or not, with a teacher, man, this would have been a whole different situation. They would have been like, this man took advantage of her, like manipulated her. And it, she could have been like, hey, I just need someone to comfort me. And the man teacher was there. But they're like, nope, you're a rapist because you're a man. He took advantage of this woman. I'm like, well, I mean, she, she look mad. I, I'm going to say this, though. Here, here's the deal. Uh, yes. OK, fine. If you want to talk, I mean, le le legality state, fine. It's, it's, it's inappropriate. Fine. But if you're talking about four years, like, I don't, I don't know how old she is. She don't even look that. She looks like she has to be like early 20s, if anything. You know, and he's clearly like 18 or 17 or 18. So if you're talking about a difference of three or four years or whatnot, I don't see it as a big deal compared to someone being like 10, 15 years and not that big of a deal. Most likely you'll like, like you see it like once that person graduates or whatever, you know, you see people dating someone that's like five years older or younger. I don't see it even being a difference of four or five years. I think it's crazy that we're even still on this one. This topic All right. Here, so so, so how they're not even that difference example. in age. Let's take you know your I mean? example and talk about Mike and Lee. So, so Judge Michael had had now, you know, high priced attorney Lee working for him. And as she looked up to her mentor, she was like, I can be with older daddy. And now that she's on her own, he's like, hey, he's taking Charlie's advice. That's what touched me. When Charlie See, was like, it's not just like, like fucking her. That's right. Like, Charles like, you think you're fucking her. I hope you're fucking her. That's the only way you're gonna get her to stay. <laughs> it was, I was like, you sound like, like Tasha. Keep fucking her until I tell you to stop. What? Yeah. It's like only only the penis can keep her in line. I'm like, what are we doing right now? And I think I think Charlie Loki knew knew that Lee had a crush on him. I mean, maybe that's part of the reason why he said that. You think that was just a random thing and he didn't at least think that there was like maybe something going on between the two? I think it was ran I think he was like, hey. You think it was just all random? I mean, I mean like, I know why he, huh? He don't need Sorry. an excuse to fuck. I mean, he was just like, hey, you might want to get this and this might help us not go to jail. Like, if you, so just think, think about this. He's saying a black man, if you want to put race into this, a black man tells a white man to sleep with a black woman to ensure she helps yeah. the black that's messed up. To help a, a biracial woman, a biracial woman, okay. fine, 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 a biracial woman to make sure a dark-skinned black man goes to jail for the rest of his life. Like, that's what we got going on right here. Like, he was like... <laughs> that way, it sounds kind of bad. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, you want, you want to take that? We'll take it to the level. Okay, so then a white man is using a light-skinned woman to send a dark-skinned man to jail for pretty much for the rest of his life. There you go. But now he's having second thoughts. He was trying to get him up. He was trying to get him up, though, right? No, he yeah. was. He was. But I'm saying, but Charlie's saying, stop okay. it. Like, yeah. make sure she keeps her mouth shut, and this dude goes down like we asked him. Like we're we're orchestrating him to. That's what he's saying. Anyway, yeah, anyway, but, Mike, but, Mike, Mike is taking but, the advice but, anyway because he because he's like, let's let's see where this goes. So either way, it works out for him. But yeah, it's a win win for him. Yes, sort of. But he, he was just, like, hey, used to be my clerk. You were kind of good. That's how you know how people wanting to be with daddy. So she's doing she, she still wants that approval. She was like, Oh, I was just kind of good. Like, you're just kind of good, girl. You know, I gotta tell you though, that detective looked like she wanted Michael too, though. Like the moment, like the moment that Adam said, like Adam says, like, oh, I was underage and whatnot. Did you notice when she was saying it's like, all right, I got the cuffs. She looked, she didn't even look at Adam, she looked right at Michael. Like, she damn was like, I was like, <laughs> What what are you what are you trying to insinuate there, homegirl? What you trying to do, Mr. Tech? Like I, 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 I would, God, next episode, because they are in New Orleans after all. They play some little Wayne. They play some little Wayne's like Mrs. Officer. That's it. It's like ee, wee, wee. and then like, you know, to Michael try to serenade her. I, I'm like, yo, you know, I it's, it's gonna happen. You know, play some little yeah, that'll no, that'll be like a little bit. They'll do that for desires crew, for desires crew, sure. Yeah, you know, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they're having a block party, and then the cops come. No, they're gonna have a block party, and then the Baxters are gonna come and fuck them up. Like that's 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 <laughs> so. Uh, anyway, so to, I mean, to your point, Chris, I would have thought that, but when the cop was was first involved in this case, and 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 Michael's yeah. like, hey, you know, it's not a big deal. I just want my car back. She's like, no, I'm doing this for your wife. 
I will find that black motherfucker and I will put him in jail. Like, yeah, I would not let them do this to you. Like, she's she's on a mission, you know, to to because she because she respects yeah. him. So but she wants him. We will see. She wants him. Like, I, I said, I'll do anything for you, Michael. Maybe I'll she'll she's gonna kill Lee as the competition. It's like she killed. She 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 hit him. She 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 hit the, the kid on the bike. It's 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 her. It's like it's like white. That doesn't make any sense. She wasn't. Uh, nope nope nope. I'm the she officer and I'm white. Uh, like what I say is right. She you know it. like. <laughs> well, well, let's talk about white privilege. So uh, Gina Baxter um is out there uh, uh, putting that money out uh, there to get her thug son out of jail two weeks early, um so he can attend <laughs> his brother's funeral. Um, she's able to pull that off. Then she whispers sweet nothings in his ear to say, go kill the dude that killed your brother. Uh, Kofi ain't doing well. Like, this this is not looking good for him. Even even the black Kofi. man he's with is like, we can't beat the Baxters. Like, you're, you're just going to die, and you need to accept that. Yeah. Do you, think he, do you think he died at the end? Do you think he walked into that uh, cell to his death? No. Not yet. No, definitely not. What do you think, Stacey? No, it ain't gonna be. No. I mean, here's the deal: he's gonna be dead. If he didn't walk in that cell, he was gonna be dead. So, if if anything, I thought that was a smart play. It was. It's a scary. No matter what, he he screwed right. This was the safest, and that's saying something. That was the safest play he could have done because when homeboy who was supposed to be looking out for him saying, "Yeah, say yo," I was like, "You got power, but then you got that that juice, and you got that bastard juice, and we 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 ain't got enough juice for that shit." Like you saw those two CEOs, they left them like or whatever. They got to like at that point, I'm like, oh shit, I gotta get ahead of this. Like, I, I, that's what I was thinking. I was like, dude, he gonna have to talk to him. And then showing up at the end, I was like, when, when the cop and I knew the cop, I was like, okay, so the cop is clearly like knows what's up in a sense because he's been there for two other occasions. He was there in the beginning to say, hey, that's the Baxter or whatever. He was the one that had to tell the kid like that's what the Baxter is. And then he was there again during the whole affirmative thing just kind of say hey what's going on in here and then at the end he's like all right come on let's go like he knew like he you know so it's kind of interesting because i'm like okay so the desire got their own cop in there and then you got the bachelors got their own and then they all like so you got ceos kind of button heads or something like you know like what you know but uh you know or maybe he's just a brother looking out for other brothers you know that's probably what it is you know what i mean and charlie ain't uh, looking out for the brothers but huh oh uh, charlie ain't looking out for the brothers charlie- Yo, shoot, Charlie run for mayor. He gonna have to get white people on that one. He know damn well. He, you know, but he he also went down to the people. Anyway, Stacey, what, what do you think is going on with, with Kofi? Yeah, how do you think it's gonna work out for him? I was totally confused. How did Baxter get in the same prison? Like, did how did that happen? Well, to to Chris's point, um, the the Baxters like they 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 use their finesse because remember Gina was talking to the warden about hey, if you free my son, that that I'll pay you off somehow. Mm-hmm. She paid him off to be like, I need, I need him to be there for transport until he goes back to his main stay. So she knew that that was going to happen. More impressive to this is how Michael figured that shit out and ran <laughs> like the Flash ac- past the prison, back to the, <laughs> back to the courthouse, and still running at his age, at any age. It was like he beat the bus there. It was like, hey, 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 I'm well, a. Like the bus was leaving. I mean, you know, we don't know how long they were at the funeral I, for one. It wasn't like, it was like, kids, all right, fine, kids, goodbye, and then we about to be out. It wasn't Chris. like, you know what I mean? And it could have been just, but like, I don't know, like a mile down the street. Chris. We don't know. Sounds like everything is just down the street from no, the man. Place, so this, yeah. this dude, the yeah. fact they even had a bus to begin with, like, shows you it's a pretty good distance. This man, no, ran- no, but the bus, but you got to remember, the bus came from that far distance, which is why with two weeks left on the sentence, why they were actually trying to get him commuted to a different prison that was much closer, which was why they kind of concocted that that whole bullshit plan and it'd be like, hey, uh, we need, like, he only got two weeks left in the sentence, right? Just kind of, can you get let him come here? And that's why that van, that's why you saw that van came behind that bus. The fact that Mike figured it out, just by his mom walking up to him, he was like, no, when the guards changed. No, no, that, no, no, that- he, he saw the cops. He's a judge, right? Like he doesn't know this shit in the sense of like he sees different. He sees a different van come through with with, with cops coming through, and they kind of come. And he sees the big criminal criminal family talking it up or whatnot. And just like he, come on now, like this click, like you 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 don't think him as a judge, like he did, would not understand what's going on. I see. Hold on, I, I see your face, Stacey. What, what, what are your thoughts? 
I don't know. Like I said, I didn't <laughs> understand how any of that happened. I was totally confused. To Chris's point, to Chris's point, when he saw the different vehicle, it had a different name on it. That's what it was. To your point, Chris, it wasn't. It wasn't the 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 main prison bus. It was a local like like transport bus. The name somehow the name on the on the side of the thing. He knew where they were taking them. That's what it was. To your point. So he saw that and he was like, shit. I got to turn in the flash and just run. Like, I can't pick up the phone nowhere. I was going to keep on running like Forrest Gump and shit. Hey, didn't you have a cell phone? I'm like, I know you don't so, believe in yeah, cars. To that, I was like, why didn't he just call him to sell? Yes. But he was like, it wasn't run, like he'd be Forrest, Run. And I was like, he was, just, he was just moving. Anyway, anyway, he makes it in time. He pretends to be a public defender instead of a judge. And he's like, hello, sir. Could you please stop watching football and make sure this one inmate that you have no, you don't give a shit about, make sure he's in protective custody, which didn't help because the Baxters run the prison um, and was like, they got more juice than, than he does, I guess. But to your point, I, I think they're going to talk it out. I think somehow uh, Crazy Son is going to listen to this black kid and he's going to be like, oh, it wasn't you? No, it's this other kid. Yeah. No, don't get me wrong. He's going to choke him out first. Like, he's like, hey, I'm Kofi. He's like, what? And he's going to choke him out first. And he's like, oh, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. He said, you better talk before I break your spine like that other desire motherfucker. Like, he going, he going, it's going, <laughs> he going to whoop his ass. And then in the midst of him about to kill him, that's where he's going to say something like, like, I was at blah, 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 blah. You can call, call Lil Mo. He'll tell you or some shit like that. And then he'll get off of them and he's going to confirm it. And then it'll be a different conversation with his pops and be like, Hey, look, there's something like, like, I don't think shady going cool. on here. We can't go to war. It's like something ain't going on. He said, but don't worry. I'll be out in a week and a half in the next two weeks. We, we, I figured this out together as a family. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, <laughs> Mama, my, my mama's on it though. I, I appreciate she was like, look, my son will be there as I bury my other son. That's a, that's a very dedicated mama. And well, you know, uh, up until now, I, I didn't think like, you, you know, like, especially when you watch these shows and, and I love how they did this. Typically, when you watch, like, a mafia-type movie, show, or whatnot, it's usually, like, yes, yeah, so you, you have, like, the spouse to kind of be, like, enjoy the riches of it, but they're not necessarily involved, necessarily, right? Like, Chris Rock's wife and, and Fargo wasn't involved, whatever. Like, she knew what was going on, but she wasn't involved. This one, it was like, so you, I thought that was the same way with this. Like, it's just like, all right, the, the men are talking. I'm going to go over here while they discuss business necessarily and here she comes out with the whole like y'all need to go big and be done with it and i was like oh shit so she's thugging too she a thug too oh shit like i was not expecting that i i, I knew she knew what was going on but i didn't know that she was like you know what yeah f them up <laughs> like i didn't know like i see I, to your point though she is a mother who just lost her son right so you yeah. even 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 she is definitely involved in the business. The fact that she was able to bribe the the warden on her own, right? To your point, but she also yeah, but that's, I didn't even think that was proof necessarily. That was just more of like I want my son. Like he's coming out in two weeks. My my son should be there to see his brother get buried. Like so, like yeah, like you see it all the time, even in real life. When 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 you see folks get captured over like Iran, the parents are like, hey, give them like we got money here. Can we just give them the money? I didn't think it was any different from that necessarily. Right. You know what I mean? Like, I'm a rich woman. I can give you money if 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 my son could go there. I'm not saying you could let him free, but can you just at least let this happen? I thought that was just more of a grieving. The whole typical, like a, 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 any mother would do. Any mother would do that. She didn't have, you don't have to be a gangster mom like she was to necessarily do that. But she was a gangster when she started, said that like, you need to go big. Like her husband was like, nope. Like, I don't know. Like, just think of the re repercussions that we might deal with desire. And, was, and she's like, said, y'all need to go big. And everyone just shut up. Everyone shut up when she said that. And I was like, okay. Well, the, 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 husband, the husband is more like like uh, Jimmy. I mean, he, he is more feeling guilty. Like he told, you know, he's told a friend, he's like, my wife blames me for this shit. So like, I mean, he killed, he killed the bird. You know what I'm saying? Like he feels like he has to- Tommy, that's his name, Tommy. That, that's that's back, Tommy Baxter. That's, that's, that's the, uh, the, the homie from Boardwalk Empire. It's Jimmy. Huh? It's Jimmy. According to this, it's Tommy. But I don't know. You fine. I, I'm not looking at, I, I don't anyway. It don't matter. He's a bastard. Mr. Baxter. 
for this video, we'll call him Mr. Baxter. Mr. Baxter. <laughs> Mr. Baxter like Mr. is Biggs. listening to Mrs. Baxter. Hello, Mr. Biggs. How you doing, Mr. Biggs? Oh, sorry. I thought thought we were doing contagion. Sorry. My my fault. Let's 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 not do that. <laughs> um, so because <laughs> All right. So this as this slow moving train is is, is is starting is starting to get going, um, uh, Stacey, what are your thoughts? Eventually, obviously, obviously, the bachelors are going to figure out that it's really uh, Mike and Ad- Adam that are responsible for this shit. You know, how, how do you think that's gonna? How do they think? They, how do they gonna find out the truth? What are your thoughts? I mean, if they do any type of forensics on the scene, they will figure out that it wasn't Kofi. And that it happened a whole day before he stole the car. But is that before or after Kofi's dead is the question. Um, and then, yeah, they'll, they'll kill the judge and the son. I mean, the son is obviously going to give himself up some type of way. Um, and who's in the car? You think the car is fake. I think somebody's in the car. Somebody okay. saw it. Somebody's gonna say something. Plus, the forensics is gonna line up. They're gonna I, find out. One hundred percent. If Lee is any type of, de- of 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 defense attorney and she does any efforts to investigate anything, it's not, it was it happened two days ago. Like this is not months later. This is days later. It's not gonna be that hard to be like he got killed. This kid got killed on Tuesday. The car was stolen on Wednesday. We have white witnesses that saw this black kid walk into this white neighborhood and steal this car on Wednesday. Like, it's not that hard. Like, because it was done. Kofi in- was at the 7-Eleven getting a Red Bull, and he was on surveillance. She can find the camera footage. Yeah. And she can say, hey, he was here on this yes. day at this time. He didn't but again, do it. But again, even, even if, if, to, to your point, absolutely. But if he was sitting at home playing PlayStation, the witnesses that that they're going to use to prove he stole the car know the day it happened, and they're going. And then again, and then the the neighbor. Will they know? Yes, it was they last week. I mean, like on, only if they if they see because remember what 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 uh, Michael said uh, in the was it the first episode? He said like when he went to the cemetery, it's like they're not going to know. It says like weeks go by when they start questioning people. Weeks. People are not going like that. Like that waitress, she's not going to know that it was a Wednesday or Tuesday. They just know that like they talk like you know what I mean. They're going to know that he was there, but they're not going to be like, oh, I clocked this black man at two o'clock on a Wednesday. Like he was talking about regular that. trials that take weeks and months to be to be tried and investigated. And true, yeah. when that kind of time passes, you forget this is days. Like this, this yeah, is yeah. But what I'm saying is, unless the detectives is talking to them days and right now, that's not is not going to happen. Watch. And the longer you do, the more the people going to start being like, "Oh yeah, I think that might have been a Wednesday or a Thursday." You know what I mean? The more you let that pass. The cops that saw Adam at the red light. What happened to the crackhead that washed the blood off the car? Man. Crackhead's gonna be. He, he, so he, he gonna, gonna come back, him, unfortunately. They gonna find him. He gonna be like Damon hey, Wayne's gonna come Crackheads back. remember everything. I yeah. know it was Monday at 3 p.m. when I washed the blood off the car. Matter of fact, I still got the rag. There you go. <laughs> I used it to clean a couple more cars. It still got blood. Check. The neighbor who watched Michael clean the car yeah. in the middle of the damn night and then saw the black man steal the car the next day, he done. Like, it's, it, it's not that hard. Like, like she. Well, no, I think, I think that neighbor's going to get tortured first. I think that neighbor's going to get tortured by the Baxter's. I don't. I feel like because they're gonna they're gonna do their own investigation. They're gonna do their own investigation. Well, that could be uh, what's his name, uh, Frankie. Frankie, who has who has the DNA being ran on the uh, on the inhaler. That's what it is. That's what it is. When Frankie gets done having their own Where's cop the run phone? the inhaler, huh? What's up, Stacey? The phone. The phone. So so uh, so yeah. Oh. My, uh, Adam still has the phone. The inhaler. The inhaler is gonna lead them to Adam. Adam still has the phone. They're fucked. Like that, that, that's how it's going to be. Like when, when, once they figure out somehow it's going to be on the prescription or something, it's going to have Adam's name. What's up? Thought about Damn. So she fingerprinted him, right? And Baxter has got the cops, some of the cops on the payroll. Yes. They got the inhaler. Yep. They're going to have the fingerprint. They're going to be like, bam, there it is. Bam. That's, yep. bam. Damn. The fingerprints that's are going to be in the out. system. Frank's shit. That's right. Frank's cop yeah, is gonna be like he didn't do a mouth swab. Did, no, 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 no. They don't do mouth swab for that. No, but uh, damn. 
yeah. Yeah, that's how he's going to get caught, really. They're like, yeah, I, I, yeah, it was, it was stolen. It was stolen or something, you know. Well, yeah. no, but then I guess his excuse can be like, hey, when he stole the car, my inhaler was in there. They're like, so you went the whole day or two days without your inhaler, and it just magically just came out of the car, and there's only one handprint on this thing. It has bloody fingerprints on it. Yeah, and it's so your fingerprint. In his in in, in old boy's blood, so he's, <laughs> wow. he's he's no he's trust fucked. me. Brian Brian Cranston going to come up with a re- this dude is so smart. His pops is so smart to find different angles and getting the license plate of the gas station and I was like the, he created this awesome ass story like that. Yo, that's a loving father right there. And like this dude was like, hey, my wife. At first, he almost got in a fight with the gas with the gas attendant dude. Was like, was like, hey, I follow you. Like, you follow me? He's like, wait. Calm down. He explained himself. Had time to start taking several shots. They were kicking, shooting the breeze. Made time to go to the gas station just to do all that, just to make friends with him. Probably, you know, like all, all this other stuff. I'm thinking, damn, what won't he do, right? So he he could easily figure so something what, out to get out. <laughs> get out. What happens when Super Detective figures out that hey, Adam was probably involved. I need to, he, she figures out his, that he bought gas from the gas station. She goes and asks for the security footage. The man said, yeah, just some guy came by, gave a story. When a guy, when a stranger says, Hey man, do you have your security footage backed up? I'm, I'm just asking, I, I, you know, just in general, since we're boys and you know, we've been drinking. He's like, no nah, man, only God knows what's on my security footage. What the hell is that? Uh, he's like, okay. I like this is going to happen to you first. I feel like because I'm getting a lot of a lot of uh, the, the the departed vibes with this. That even before this, some like just like if you saw the departed, some of the cops that was trying to blow up something or whatever, all of a sudden get popped. You know oh. what I mean? I mean not by Michael, by the way, but like folks that like you know what I mean? Because she's gonna find yes, she's gonna find out about what Adam did, but then she's gonna find some other stuff about the Baxters or whatnot and try to get all that together. And she won't even make it. Like it, it'll be an ironic convenience for Michael and be like. Damn, she's dead. No, nah. but there goes my issue. There's he's goes my problem. As well. He's going full Heisenberg. If he, if he's discommitted <laughs> to his family, he's gonna come up with the pills. He's gonna give him the like. The, <laughs> he's like, I'm sorry. It's like, he's, like, he's, he's killed. He's, he's gonna start dropping bodies. Like that's the only way this story needs to get interesting. Like he needs to be like, I even killed for this, and I'm still being. He's the bastards are still coming for him. But the fact he killed some cops to fix this, and he still don't, and then Adam just walks into the police station with his black and white photo montage. That will be his his high school project bet. He's so <laughs> fucked in the head. He's going to be like, hey, guys, I just want to show you. It's called, what if I murdered someone? And these are my body parts. Okay. What if I did do like, it? What, will, will white privilege still <laughs> save me even with evidence? Like, like, oh, yeah, I like that. Yeah, just like, I would have oh, jumped yeah. over this bush. I'm just saying. I mean, I don't think I could, but maybe I could. Is it, oh, yeah, you saw, yeah, you see that match. It was like that match of music. Like, if I could, it's like the, the bloopers, right? The bloopers. He puts on the gloves, like, obviously this glove does not fit, and the glove actually fits perfectly. He's like, oh, my oops, oh, 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 let's cut that out. Everybody. You know, I mean, that's what's going to happen here. That's <laughs> Somebody's going to find his photo spread, him doing the 80s dance in his head. He's fucked in the head. Like, Adam got some issues going on. Like, I was like. I mean, yeah. but, but wouldn't you, though? You just hit a kid. I would not be trying to put myself in jail. Like he had emotional issues before this happened. Like this ain't his first emotional event. Like he got some shit he's working through. It could be his mom. He could maybe feel like he's responsible for his mom. Maybe he is responsible for his mom's death and his, and his, and his dad doesn't know it. Like maybe that's why he's the only one that went to the convenience store to put the picture down. Maybe that's why the black man was grabbing his dicks and following him because he was there that day. I'm not gonna let that go. That was too much. Like that was just too much. But anyway. What? Huh? We're gangbangers. What are you talking about? It's too much, man. I mean, not since I saw Tariq with a gun in his pants. While I was like, "This is too much." Anyway, all right. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes, man. We'll see how it goes. Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm just, this part in thoughts. What, what do you think? What do you think? How's it gonna wrap up? Is Mike gonna be dropping bodies? Do you think he's gonna kill anybody? Yes. Who? Right, so uh, who? Oh, wait, we he might. He might have to end up killing his homeboy Charlie. It'll be the detective. Charlie's too down for the cause. That detective's gonna go. Charlie's yeah. gonna get fed up. He'd be like, you know what? I'm gonna cut my losses. I'm going, I'm snitching. And he goes. Char- Charlie's gonna be lit up by the backstreet. Because he's gonna think he's untouchable. He's running for mayor. 
and the bachelor's gonna remind them how he even got there, and they're gonna probably hire the cops to make it look like like he was doing something illegal, and the cops had to put him down. And Maybe he killed he Adam. Yeah. Just to end it. Yeah. Like oh, close. He kills Adam. Yeah. Adam keeps snitching on. Like you, you need to shut up because you're gonna get us all killed. So wait, wait. So who, 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 who do you say is gonna kill Adam? Charles. The, cops? the daddy. Oh. oh. The dad gonna put. No, he ain't gonna kill. Dude, he's jumping through all these. Who, dude? He would go to. It seemed like he would, he would go to jail. Yeah. For this, this, that should have you know, been how the lie him. ended. She should have got her throat slit too. <laughs> After they got rid of that body. Okay, so you playing games with me, daughter? Like, you know <laughs> That damn inhaler. Choke on that head. She choked her with it. She killed her with the inhaler. Just shoved it in her mouth and she choked on it. Oh, remember on Double Cross? That she took the inhaler from the little boy. So remember? Can... <laughs> oh, man. Why is it always the inhaler? Fuck. I'm telling you, it's the thing. Asthma, asthma sufferers, man. You, you, you are, you are always getting abused in these shows, man. That's why I, when my invention oh, comes out, the inhaler will always be right here. Just that's right. That's right. Be around your I neck, do. so no one can take. Yeah, that yeah. Away. No, I, I do think Mike, Michael will definitely catch catch a body. I feel like the body he will catch, um, I think will either be one of the cops, or it might even be one of the bachelors themselves. You know what I mean, like. Someone that's like, you know, and then he's going to be free. He'll do the old Heisenberg thing when Heisenberg first caught, caught a body and he's like, <gasps> like freaks out. I'm like, what are, you know what I mean? He's going to do that. You know what I mean? He's going to do his classic, like, I don't know what to do. You know what I mean? So um, he's too good at this, though. I mean, he's never been caught off guard. Like everything happens. He's ready for it. Like he got a plan. He got a story. You know what I'm saying? Like he's always working shit out. I can see your point, though. He could be caught up with some shit. Just like snap a neck. Like he's like, accident. I mean, but he's already being careless. Like he can't even find the rug. Damn, that damn Django, who is unchained right now. He was like, he he freaking a kid hit the damn rag. He can't even find it. Like, we're, we're, yo, you don't even know the, the whole, the damn, you didn't check he's underneath the damn car to see if something was stuck. That dog could kill you up. The dog's gonna take that rag out for a walk by himself somehow. He's gonna start running down the street with a bloody t-shirt in his mouth. And they're gonna be like, "Hey, what's up with this dog?" Like, "Oh shit, it was what's wrong with Django?" Guys. It was the dog. <laughs> Frank, uh, Fr uh, Baxter's dude, Frankie's gonna be walking down the street, see the dog. They're gonna be like, "Oh, I like dogs." And they can see the bloody shirt. It's like that. Oh, that's the kid's shirt. Done right there. Woo. Like, do you think Adam's gonna kill Baxter's other kid? That like Carlo comes, oh, we already know what's going to happen. He's about to be out in two weeks. He's about to be out in two weeks, right? He's going to find out that the who actually really killed his brother. And then, bam, he's going to have to pop another body. You know, I mean, he like, he's going to have to run another person. Like that, like, he, 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 you don't he think so? Like that. Uh, he thought, no. This, this ain't too weak. No, he, he's not, <laughs> not thinking like that, man. And then, like, then the sister, then the sister who we barely see, she's going to try to get yeah. revenge. You know, you know. <laughs> she seeks revenge. <laughs> He just totally kills out the yeah. whole kids. <laughs> like, yeah, like, I got to take them all out. Oh, man. Uh, maybe they all go to school together. Fuck it. Just be like, oh, hey, Phil. Uh, hey, just like right there for this homecoming. <clears throat> hey, I got this thing called Force Correct. It's, oops, my bad. Wrong show. <laughs> Another show. Another show. <laughs> show. Oh, that's what the Baxters got the Westons money. <laughs> they, they Westons over here. Like, we do what we want when we want. Yeah, just like the cops. Like, you can punch the cop in the face. Like, oops. I'm, it's like that's a West. I'm like, all right, okay, I'll let this go then. Excuse me. <laughs> all right, guys. What's up? What's up, Stacey? What's up? What you think? It's not related to the show, but I was just thinking about who the Westons really are and where they got that money. Oh, they, they, they're about that. Like, they could be the connect for Rico. What the like? It's all connected. It's like it's like even even Brady didn't even know. Brady's like, what? Bro, how do you think we made this money? Do you really think I'm a businessman? No, I run that shit. We like I'm like middle class to filthy rich in six months. How, how did that even happen? Once yeah. Lobos, the image. That's a whole yeah. video. We're gonna do another yeah, video. By, by the way, guys, if you're if you're lost, it's because we're, we're we, we kind of jumped that show and went to went to Ghost, uh, went to Power of Ghost Book Two, which is a I won't say it's, it's a great show, but it's it's very entertaining, <laughs> very entertaining show. In case y'all haven't watched it. No, truly so, though, have and have nots. Tyler Perry, seasons one through three. You will see how the story ends. Um, and uh, it, it is. Don't worry, Medea's not in it, so you're good. How you was don't up? Worry about. So you don't have to worry about Medea being in it. Yeah, that's right? true. That's true. Right? That's true. No, it's not. No, no, no. no, no. He's he's not, he's not in front of the camera. 
All right, guys, we'll see you back here for next week. Thank you very much for watching. And thank all everyone who joined the channel. We have a lot of new subscribers the uh, last couple of days, and we do very much appreciate it. So if you're new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel and like on the video, comment on the video, share the video. Let us know why you watch. Uh, uh, oh, man, Your Honor, why you watch us talking about Your Honor, and we will get back to you as soon as possible. And uh, we'll see you again.